White flag is raised. Error. In the opening two-year-old maiden over a mile, and in the early stages, the first to show was Yonkers, with on the outside Mount Everest, being followed through the first furlong by seven a day. Racing on to the end of the first furlong, and it's Yonkers with alongside Mount Everest. They're showing in the lead ahead of seven a day, and they're tracked on the inside in the light blue colours of G-Rex, and then improving is Dingle Bay as they come off the elbow. Straightening inside the six, and Mount Everest just picks it up from Yonkers. Dingle Bay on the outside, and they're followed by seven a day in G-Rex, with a couple of lengths to Vocal Manager, who's racing in company with Musal Sal. Blenheim Palace is next, and after Blenheim Palace is Benzonic. And these are being followed by Fast Bender on the outside as they continue their journey to the halfway stage. Mount Everest and Dunico Brine just holding sway over Yonkers and Colin Keane on the rail and then Dingle Bay, Colm O'Donoghue on the outside. And they're followed by Seven a Day and G-Rex. Reminders for vocal manager and then Musel Sal. They're past the junction. And Yonkers rejoins Mount Everest, who's pushed along. Then Dingle Bay and Seven a Day, and they're followed by G-Rex as they race onto the two. And not much between Mount Everest and Yonkers on the far side in the nose band. Then Seven a Day, Dingle Bay. G-Rex is next, and then Musal Sal with Crimson King, and then Sovereign racing inside the final furlong and still dueling away. Yonkers and Mount Everest on the near side. They have it between them. And it's Mount Everest just finding that bit more as they run towards the finish. Mount Everest and Dunnick O'Brien, a length and a half too good for Yonkers. And they pulled away from G-Rex, Crimson King, seven a day, and Sovereign.